I'll go ahead and get fired up. We're a little after a little after four on my side, so I appreciate everyone here being prompt. I'm sure others will join into us and uh, want to just officially welcome you guys. Um, as always, if you're watching this over on YouTube, I'm still planning on putting this up on YouTube. I think it makes sense from like a general way of spreading the word out about our project. I think some people have kind of found us from there, which is always good. But you know, like and subscribe uh, definitely helps us grow the channel up, and uh, you know, look forward to putting out some more content, hopefully, you know, a little bit more in depth with what we're doing on the Foxes, um, if for nothing else to try and help on the onboarding side and, uh, go ahead and get started. I guess that's a, a good first topic to really talk about, you know, our marketing team kind of put together a little bit of a, uh, a contest for, um, you know, showcasing what you can do with Foxy since we've gotten, you know, so many utilities with it already. Um, and it can be a lot to kind of digest. I know we have the new fox section or channel in our discord but um i think the graphics and videos that people have created and submitted have been pretty pretty fire um i think there was one video that i i liked you know i think it's kind of stood out a bit more than than some of the rest but uh we do have like a vote going on for that so if you guys haven't participated just jump in there and and push some votes out for it uh, i i believe it's just reacting i'm not 100 percent sure i know I believe Foxy Dev was the run one that was putting that all together, but um, we're kind of doing this as a contest just to kind of give back a little bit to the community side. Uh, we certainly appreciate it, just because you know for us, timing becomes a little bit challenging with all the things we kind of have going on. So, just showcasing everything you can do with Foxy. I think that's uh, that's one big item. A lot of people come into our community, you know, and they're kind of curious what they can do with our token. You know, a lot of times they, <laughs> they look at it as passive income and they ask where they can buy it or sell it. Um, you know, so that's on that's on them um, to be able to kind of figure that out. We're actually still trying to figure out to a way of if we're able to um, push out on our Foxy swap or Foxy send or really any of our tools. Um, you know, if people don't have Fox, if they're interested in kind of buying tokens to be able to use the tools themselves, um, what kind of language we can push up on our website for that. Uh, it's just a little bit challenging just because we're utility token sides. We don't want to promote like the buying and selling. Um, we try to foster people to, to buy NFTs, buy foxes and stake them. That's why we have such a high staking percentage. But, um, but we are trying to work on kind of increasing that awareness just because I think it would bring in, you know, a decent chunk of people into our community if for nothing else to use our tools, um, you know, which could help certain foxes that, you know, just want to sell foxy or whatever. I mean, that's really up to you guys, however you want to go about it, since that's already created and it's out of our hands. Um, so just some things to kind of keep in mind in general from our utility side. We've uh, we pushed out some Detmore Den collabs. Uh, the latest one that we posted about was with the DGen DAO. So that's for both DGen Ape Academy and the DGen Trash Pandas. Um, so they kind of welcomed us with open arms. We, you know, reached out to a few folks um, from their side, and you know, they kind of gave us an idea of their academy, which I didn't really, um, I didn't really realize they had, you know, like that kind of fun-looking academy look to like their. Uh, I'll call it home or their brand, yeah, for their project. So I thought that was kind of fun. So um, we took that and we kind of rolled with it with our, our den side. Got an exterior interior for that. Um, we sent that over to their DAO as well. Um, we added in, I know I mentioned it earlier, uh, we added in Foxy Send. Uh, that's been very helpful for myself since I have, you know, uh, I'll say a plethora of wallets primarily for burners for minting. Um, and sometimes I go a little bit more ham <laughs> than I probably should minting. So it definitely has helped me consolidate my uh, wallets to say the least. So if anyone pops into my den, you'll now see that it's much more of a shit show with a, a lot more uh, other NFT projects and such in there that uh, most likely are worth nothing. But, you know, maybe one day, maybe one day it'll be worth something. But yeah, Foxy sends uh, 50 Foxy to do a, uh, a send. And uh, you can do up to six NFTs in one transaction. I know Dev talked about that at our last spaces. Um, that's just so that it's it doesn't uh, have just a partial fill for it. And um, it guarantees you be, to be able to send like those six NFTs in that transaction as long as it works on the network, which I know has been a big issue over the past week. 
Um, so that's the one good thing. You don't get charged the Foxy unless it goes through. Um, and it's 50 per, let's call it every six NFTs and whatever gas is for Solana. So like the pennies that it costs for a transaction. Um, so hopefully folks are getting some good use out of that tool. Um, I know I've used it quite a bit already. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing more and more people use that. Um, in general, I know the mortuaries, which I think have been out for a little while now, those have been kind of popular for like burning NFTs. So this kind of helps you, you know, move some of the, uh, NFTs you want to burn around to kind of get rid of them and uh, really you can do whatever you want with it. It's just a really helpful tool for, for sending NFTs around. Uh, we also had our Grim Syndicate auction for uh, our, our Grim Syndicate one for one. And uh, that went for what, 269 420 I believe. I know I have it in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, 269 420 which was uh, <laughs> which was by uh, 31, just looking as 31. I definitely was interested in getting that. And I, I know he put a bid in early ish, uh, for 169.420. And I think someone outbid him. And, uh, so he had to raise the stakes by 100,000. So, so that was pretty fun. Uh, a great addition into our, our community for sure. And, uh, definitely, uh, I'm, I'm sure he's excited to represent that within our space. Um, I know a lot of people, get excited about our one-for-one -one auctions that we have, which have been pretty awesome. So, um, you know, more to come on that. I'll say we're still working on some other things in the background, but we'll definitely get some more information out about our next one-for-one -one auction. Uh, I don't know if we'll post it tomorrow or Wednesday, but, um, but we'll have something for you guys uh, this coming week. Um, the next part to really talk about is staking 2.0 kind of general progress on that. Um, you know, we, we've, we're continuing on, you know, with the, the, the creation side of things. I believe we have everything on the back end side done. It's more so the front end that we're just working on finalizing. Um, the one thing that's kind of fun, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for tomorrow, I think, for us to kind of publish a little bit more information about that from an alpha side, just because I don't want to step on devs' toes for other things in the works with our staking 2.0. But um, but I think people are going to like it. I think, I think it's going to be pretty fun. It's just... You know, there are a few things that we still have to get from the front end side before we push it out. We don't want it to be kind of half-assed. We want to make sure we have, um, you know, everything the way that we want it for uh, the creation side on the mission. So just keep that in mind. And, um, you know, it's going to bring another level to our staking, which we're pretty excited to see um, for sure. And uh, we did also add into our, uh, our markets place we added in um, our Foxy raffle tickets. So for anyone that um, is interested, the, the tickets cost 2000 Foxy each. We're maximizing or we're setting a maximum limit for the number of tickets that we're going to sell um, in a given raffle to 2,500. So the total, uh, the total raffle will only have 2,500 tickets. It's going to be done on a monthly basis. Um, the prizes for this one, which we're going to draw tomorrow, uh, we've got one famous fox. We've got two transdimensional foxes, two dens, 10 rare rooms, five epic rooms, two unique rooms, and then 25 um, different options for 20,000 foxy each. Um, and then we've also had Bustos had requested if he could add some prizes to our raffle pool. We said, why not? Um, so he's adding in two Bitmon trainers as well to the list. So... Um, you know, just keep that in mind for the raffles. Uh, you know, it does, it, it might seem a little steep for some people, 2000 Foxy, you know, it is not a, a low amount of Foxy. I think the reward side you end up getting from it, you know, for the most part is, uh, is pretty worth it. Um, it just depends on how many people are interested in, you know, kind of taking the chance on the raffle side. And we'll kind of, we'll take, we'll take any kind of comments, um, you know, in general for people, feel free to drop them in main chat in uh, alpha wherever you want to you know if you have any feedback for the structure of the raffles if there's anything you want us to change we'll definitely take things into consideration um i think for this one we're pretty happy with uh, how things have been going with it so definitely looking forward to the outcome and um and and what people who who wins i'll say and what people kind of think of our first raffle so we'll certainly have more of them in the future we might just tweak them a little bit here and there just to kind of make sure uh, I'll say more people are happy because I think at the end of the day, you're not going to make everyone happy. Um, I mentioned the the infographic video making contests, which is going on. Uh, so, yeah, so there's some rules around that in our announcements section. 
uh, a one minute video or infographic that basically shows you all the Foxy, uh, all the functions that Foxy provides. Uh, we'll be giving out a TFF and a den for first and second place. So we have a, a link for the submission side to get down in the get Foxy channel and uh, has to include everything, all the possible uses of Foxy and fit in the dimensions for um, Instagram or Instagram reels. So that's just for us to kind of push out um, a little bit heavier on the Instagram side, but we'll certainly be including that um, in all of our other socials and on our, on our discord and try to think if we'll, we should try and find a spot for us to put on our website too. I think that would kind of make sense for some people. Um, and just kind of have links to go around to it. Um, let's see, we're, we're working on, I don't know if we have it fully uh, incorporated yet, but a, a notification system as well for Foxy swaps. So I know that that's been something a lot of folks have requested, uh, is basically, you know, outside of someone doing a swap request and creating a ding to let the person know they have one. Um, you know, what's like the next best way to kind of, uh, you know, handle the, the notification side. So, um, so Foxy dev is working on building in, uh, you know, the notification piece into our profiles page. Um, and it's going to, you know, link to your Twitter. Um, and then that way you'll be able to kind of see when you have a swap request that comes through and it should just help out from a general awareness side for people to not have to check, you know, every single day to see if they have a swap request. They'll just get them on demand more so. Um, and as always, you know, feel free to send a ding if that helps one way or another, because that's kind of a little more direct and maybe someone doesn't have everything kind of set up properly to get those notifications. So um, it doesn't hurt. Or if you're in if you're in direct communications with the person too, that's, I would say, probably the, the absolute easiest. Uh, we... We, as I say we, it, Dev um, also, I'll say got bored, but, but people had requested um, the idea of a sweeping tool. And so we built out a sweeping tool. And uh, currently it just works on Magic Eden, but um, it has a couple of different options. The first thing is you can put up to a certain Solana price that you're willing to pay for uh, whatever the NFT is that you're sweeping. And it'll tell you what the total amount of Solana is you need to do that sweep. And, um, and basically you just hit the, the button, it goes through, it has you approve the transaction and it buys up all those NFTs. Uh, the other option is you can select how many NFTs you want to buy and it just takes that amount, goes through the floor, figures out the price and then lets you buy it. The, um, the only caveats are, you know, based off of the network speeds and such, it might not be exact. So, and especially if you're buying into a project that is pumping or, or, you know, has recently had a lot of volume, a lot of buys and sells, um, you know, there's a chance that you may or may not get the exact amount you're looking to um, for using that tool. So there's a little bit of caveats to it. I think that really would come with anything that exists um, for utility side on the sweeping edge. But, um, but the nice part about it is it does, it does work very quick. Uh, I used it a few times already and um, I know it, I don't know if Magic Eden's fixed it quite yet. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it did leave some of the uh, NFTs that I was buying still listed, but uh, the, their price had gone away. So it just like looked like they were stuck there, which I'm sure people have seen on many of Magic Eden's pages, including Fox's, um, where it just has like a wrong floor price because someone already bought that, but it's just like stuck on the page for um, that collection. So it just goes all the way to the front end and... Uh, and I thought that was kind of fun because I, I did it a couple of times and I saw it, that happen consistently. So to me, it just seems like uh, our tool is quicker than, than Magic Eden's on updating uh, their their data within a collection, which is kind of fun. But costs 200 Foxy. Um, and again, just lets you kind of sweep the floor um, on collections with a couple of different options for you to do so. Um, as far as other updates went, uh, Foxy Dev added in the ability for doing a stake all and unstake all for um, for Foxes. I know some people had, had asked for that a while back, um, and that's just been something where it's kind of just been on the sidelines with everything else we've had going on. So he went through and added that in. Um, added ledger support too for the profile for your profile page. It's something that I have to go back and tweak. Um, so before you. Like it wouldn't let you on the ledger uh, link your Twitter or Discord or anything like that because um, of the approval side on ledger. But Foxy Dev had figured out 
um, what was kind of holding that up, got that tweaked and fixed. So now you can add in your profile information um, for a wallet that has a, uh, a den that's, that's also associated with a ledger. So I'm looking forward to that because I have to update mine and um, make sure it kind of falls under my whole collection because right now it's just out in limbo as a random uh, vault that, that has my, my uh, NFTs stuck on my ledger. Um, I think that's really it for the most part. I mean, that kind of covers it. I know we, you know, the, the rest of the announcement that went out uh, in the middle of the week kind of touched on a bit of the rest of the information we've already touched on. Um, oh, and the banners. Um, yeah, our banners, we're working on them. They are, I want to say about halfway done, give or take. We're about, we're probably more than halfway. Um, but we're getting the banners created. So banner is just, it's just a wider image for your den. And uh, it's going to be more helpful really on our website because for anyone that's been on and checked out dens, um, once we've added in the interior rooms and kind of shuffled things around a little bit, um, we kind of have what's called a pear shape for the design of the den. And so that, what that means is that the, the den itself is a giant square at the top but it doesn't fill up the orange edges um, very much on, at least for a desktop version. I think mobile is a bit different. And so with that, there's some orange space on the sides. Below it, you'd have the interior rooms that would kind of be spaced wider than the den itself. So it just kind of gives it a little bit of a, a graphic side that like might not be as visually appealing. So, um, so we're adding in banners to make it a bit wider, and that should make it a, a little bit more uh, cleaner on our website. And, um, you know, if people want to do anything with their banners, you're more than welcome to. It's not going to be an exact perfect size for, um, for Twitter. Twitter actually has a bit of a wider uh, banner than what our website really has. So um, there might be, you know, if there's enough interest in it, there might be something we can do in the future. I, I know that SoulSeds had done something kind of like that where they made Twitter banners specific. Um, ours are more so for our website just to kind of make the, the dens pages a bit more clean. So just want to throw that out there. Um, they're in the works and hopefully within the next, uh, I'll say hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll have all those finished, finalized, polished and pushed out and, um, and we'll just update them on our website. You guys won't have to do anything to them. Um, and so then when you go into your dens, you'll kind of see, uh, I'll say a bigger landscape. So the one that we threw out there is uh, a vampire den. And so with that one, you can kind of just see um, there's like an added coffin and a, um, a little headstone and some stuff off to the side. So you can kind of expect like a little bit of a, an extra flair for all of the uh, individual banners that we're creating for the dens. So hopefully everyone's kind of excited for it. I think people have asked for it beforehand. And uh, it's just another another tool we wanted to throw out there. I mean, it's, it doesn't really have much utility to it. It's kind of just more of an aesthetics thing. But, um, but I think people are looking forward to to seeing a little bit more of their their dens in our like fox sphere fox metaverse type of type of play we have going on with our dens um i'll kind of pause there real quick just to kind of see if uh if, if brink had anything um he wanted to throw up here or if there's any questions you guys have um, i'm gonna scour our chats real quick just to see if anyone's throwing anything in there And people, there's been a lot of advice to just zoom out <laughs> and a lot of advice from people just off the, the current times of just taking the chart uh, from Solana and uh, rotating it um, 180 degrees and then just look at it that way and then you're good to go, um, <laughs> which has been, has been pretty fun. Uh, yeah, let me see. Oh, and I should I should have mentioned I don't know why I hadn't mentioned it yet. Uh, Bronx Al. So so anyone um, that's been in Alpha recently, I'm sure you've seen some of the uh, the uh, ongoings for Bronx Al. Uh, I don't know how much Brink wants to comment on it, but basically, uh, it's it's uh, Brink's like brainchild, if you will, where uh, he had created. Uh, from scammers that were trying to do, I believe just DevNet scams, um, you know, fake famous Fox NFTs to kind of just mess with them. And, uh, so the names got all kind of craziness. My favorite one was the, the famous Fox Fear Nation, um, 
for the NFTs, and he actually minted it too on the dev side and sent that to the people that he was were trying to get scanned by him, and uh, you know had them send pictures of proof of receipt and all that fun stuff. So it's been quite fun, and it's kind of evolved now into I'll say like a semi uh, down movement. So anyone that's interested in kind of checking more out about it, if you go into our alpha section in our Discord, there's a, a little hashtag marker button at the top. Um, if you can't see the thread below it, but you can click on that hashtag that's for threads. And then from there you can click on it's now called Bronx Dow classic. Uh, there was a, uh, a misunderstanding <laughs> with, with someone in the community and they originally, they deleted the original Bronx Dow. So now it's Bronx Dow classic. And, um, no, <laughs> no worries, Brink. But, uh, but yeah, so, so a lot has transpired since this has started. Um, it's turned into me and a few others essentially just kind of messing around and seeing how fast we can create um, famous foxes, you know, using paint or whatever tool of your choice. But the objective isn't to make it pretty. The objective is to make it like basically as quick as possible. Um, and, and Brink can correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, but people have gotten a real good kick out of it. And uh, we've actually had recently had um, uh, another person kind of jump in. James Hatfield had jumped in to create these like minis. So you'll notice my uh, picture on here is a mini that he had created. Um, it's just kind of been a lot of fun in all honesty to kind of see all this kind of take place, especially at a time where, you know, markets are total shit and, all that fun stuff. So it's, uh, it's just like another thing to kind of, I'll say take the edge off, but, uh, but in general, I mean, it doesn't really, you know, I know the markets suck for the most part, you know, I'm in NFTs. I know everyone else is in NFTs and, you know, primarily on the Solana side. So really pricing all over the place has been crazy, but it's just been fun to not really worry about that kind of kick it back a little bit and just chill and mess around. And, you know, people are still, trading on secondaries for different things. I mean, there's, there's always going to be opportunity, you know, sometimes the best trade to do is no trade. So it's, it's always something to kind of keep in mind as well. But, um, but yeah, I think I see Brink's back. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to jump in and have some thoughts on Bronx Dow on anything famous foxes. Or if not, I think, I think Bronx Dow is kind of self-explanatory at this point. <laughs> it started like you saw as pretty much a joke and uh, i think it was case made some case catch him, made some comment the other night that win bronc auction or something like that and it just uh it kind of went from, it was like you know what i will do that so i set up the the holoplex auction i messed it up i couldn't even figure out like how many bronx were actually part of the auction or what the deal was but i didn't link it or anything i just mentioned in chat was like somewhere on the internet there is an auction happening for bronx and then sure enough people found it and it started spreading it around to bid um uh, after it was only like an hour for that auction so i was just watching everybody spread it around and make jokes about it i was just cracking up and then it finally ended people got their bronx <laughs> and then we were talking like what if we just made a bronc coin so we made a bronc coin i distributed uh, I think I did five Bronk coin to everybody that ended up buying one from an auction. And then the Bronk Dow sprung up, which none of beyond the actual creating the art, starting the auction and then getting the coin rolling. I didn't do anything else <laughs> after that. Someone made Bronk Dow as a thread in the discord, which was pretty hilarious. So we jumped in there and we having a good time. And then people were voting for me to do stuff like eat cereal and then put a shoe on my head, which was pretty much the pinnacle. And then they voted me out in record time, I think five minutes after the thing opened, Foxy Dev was appointed the new leader of Bronx Dow. <laughs> and I went to bed to wake up and see like all the revisions that people had made and all this crazy stuff. But it's been hilarious too, especially as a time like with Solana being so down bad and the market being down bad, a lot of people can caught up to that. So it's cool to see people have kind of something to joke about, to lighten the mood, lighten the atmosphere a little bit. And now it's even evolved. Like you've seen the, the little baby foxes that James has been making everybody. So it's what started as a joke has turned into something like super wholesome and positive, which is always something I can appreciate. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, the nice part about that too, you know, it really, it really kind of comes, I mean, it really speaks about like our community. You know, I, I honestly haven't really been in many other discords over the past, I'll say like the past week. 
um, with the exception of maybe a few where, uh, you know, it's like a new project or something that I've kind of been involved with one way or another. And uh, it's just really fun, you know, you know, to your, to your same point. I mean, it's just our community exists, you know, people like enjoy spending, genuinely enjoy spending time there. Uh, you know, some people I'll say probably spend too much time there, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, we're kind of all, we're kind of all in it together, you know, and, you know, there's a lot of projects that are out there that just like come out, people buy in and sell out for profit or whatever. And I'm, you know, that's obviously happened to Foxes, uh, you know, but with such a high staking rate, with such a, a an active community, I mean, like it, it genuinely takes time to catch up on all the things that have been going on, you know, during, you know, just a, an eight hour sleep period or not even eight hours. I joke and say eight hours and probably like a five hour sleep period, um, you know, which, you know, to, to use the words you said, you know, is very wholesome and positive, you know, within our, our space, within our community as a whole. Um, so I, you know, I'm very happy about that. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback from a lot of people, um, about our community, which, you know, speaks for itself. And it's not something that we try to tell people to do, you know, it just exists. You know, we don't kind of have a complex to us. I've seen some people say that we're a cult. I mean, it's crypto. <laughs> What's not a cult in crypto? Uh, but realistically, I mean, we're not a cult. That's, that's silly. Uh, you know, we're just a project that, you know, has decent alpha with great people and, you know, if people want to hang around and spend all their time of the days, you know, with us, so be it. I mean, that's that's kind of what it's all about. You know, I get so many DMs from projects where they're like, oh, you know, we're creating a project where we want the best community, you know, and like that's basically all their project is. And I'm like, all right, well, why, why am I going to give you our community? <laughs> like, that doesn't make any sense. We've already got, you know, the best community here. Why are we going to give you guys a piece of what we have? It's kind of silly. Um, so that's like always a, a fun thing. I try to like ask people cause I get DM by like 20 projects a day, give or take, um, you know, where they just are pitching the same buzzwords. You see everything else, tokens, staking, you know, um, passive income, you know, casino, whatever they want to add in, uh, you know, the best, they want to build the largest, best community with a thousand piece collection. It's like, it doesn't make any sense to me. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just very interesting, which makes me just feel really good about, you know, our community and, uh, what we're kind of building in the space. I mean, I know, you know, right now it's a little bit tough just because of the markets, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, the projects that come out of this, you know, stronger, uh, you know, I think are going to have such a lasting impact, um, that it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome to kind of see kind of unfold, in general, I know there's been a lot of things, a lot of uncertainties with other projects. Geckos was a big one recently. There's just been a lot of uncertainty around, you know, what the heck's going to go on with that project, with the the way they're going. Um, and I'm just glad that, you know, we don't have to really worry about that for us. Uh, you know, we're a strong team. We just, you know, keep delivering. You know, if there are things that people see that would be a good idea for us to implement, uh, you know, or to, to reach out and try and, um, you know, band with another community or however you want to go about it, um, you know, always feel free to let us know. I'm definitely interested in projects that come out. You know, we don't want to take on, you know, projects. I think that's probably one of the things I've seen recently is people are like, oh, you know, a project might have rugged and they're interested in trying to find someone to take over for them. You know, it's, it's a lot of work to run a project. It's a lot of work, you know, whether they're a failure or a success. I mean, it still is a lot of time. I think, um, some people probably take it for granted in the space just because there seems to be so many projects that exist. But, uh, you know, at the same time, there's just so many rugs that get created. So it's just very challenging to, to try and find the fine balance between what you want to take on as a project, uh, as a community, versus what you kind of have to pass up on for the time being. And we're not perfect, but I think we're doing a pretty good job at it personally, just based off of everything else that's been going on. But yeah, Bronkdale. Uh, so if anyone hasn't seen, feel free to, to poke around, have some fun. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, Brink, I, how many how many Bronk tokens were created, and what's the tokenomics to it? I have no idea at this point. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what happened. And you stake for Bronk tokens? It got so out of hand. People are calling me and they're asking for Bronk coin. I don't have any to give them. Can people buy them off of the secondary market as on a Dex? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if someone set up a Dex for it. Kid yeah, but not. the liquidity would be awful. It would be like five, like you said, five tokens. Someone put five tokens and then whatever kind of dollar value they'd associate <laughs> to it in the liquidity pool or list it on a Dex or something. It'd be hilarious. The one thing I've learned from the internet is to never underestimate the power of a meme. Mm. Very, very wise it, it, words for sure. Bron- Bronk Dow is entirely autonomous at this point. I haven't said anything in Bronk Dow for probably a couple hours. And it's just still going. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to stop. Why would it stop? No, the movement's already in place. Exactly. The, like the some title Avengers style action. Yeah, half, the, half the title of this space is Bronk Dow. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's insane. It's insane. I, I, it's like moving so quick. I don't even know what's going to happen by the end of the day. We'll see <laughs> what yeah, the well, next evolution of Bronk Dow happens to be. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully more people, you know, get involved with it. I think it's a fun thing to just latch on to. And, uh, you know, if people don't have much liquidity or not interested in looking at markets, things to just have fun with it. That's, <laughs> that's what, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know if it was a joke, but I saw somebody posted because the, the actual famous Fox Twitter, you guys either tweeted or retweeted something having to do with Bronk Dow, and then people started posting the baby foxes or whatever you want to call them. And someone mm-hmm. goes, "Are these being minted?" And it wasn't <laughs> I did fox. see that. It was somebody else. Wait, hold on. I think I may have found it. Yeah, someone goes, "Is there a mint?" <laughs> <laughs> I did see that. I did see that. That's hilarious. Yeah, that was pretty uh, unexpected, but shows you kind of what happens in Solana. I guess people are so hungry to mint anything. You see a little cute art and they want to know how much money it costs. <laughs> well, that or they might just they might just want to support you, Brink. I mean, sometimes you just have to let people support you. Support yeah, you, support, you. Support you, support the community. I mean, you know, you're part of our community. I even That's feel bad because the, the, the Holoplex auction for the original Bronx, I put it point one Solana. I'm like, holy shit, people actually bought these. I feel like I scammed people, but I guess yeah, you sold out of them, right? You sold, <laughs> you sold all, if it was 10, no, no, I, think no, no. It was, I don't think it was 10. I think only eight or nine ended up getting bought in the uh, auction okay. of the possible 10 that were there. Okay. <laughs> but I think I made a joke to a couple people. It's like the point one Solana that people paid for a Bronx, like they got more value than they get from most point five Solana NFTs. <laughs> Oh yeah, after, after we're, we're all higher. The camaraderie right? that happened. Yeah, we're higher. I, I just saw. I think someone posted in Alpha that bot boards popped their uh, their. Um, oh yeah, uh, their mint price up because the yeah their mint price, price up. I think the two point five or something like that. That that's kind of shitty to me. You know, I think at the end of the day, I mean, you know, I, I I'm not I'm not against any project. I think the idea that you're adjusting a mint price based off of the fluctuating value that exists on a volatile asset is nonsense. Yeah. Um, that's curious. Because let's just say six months from now, Solana is a thousand dollars. You're going to go back to everyone that paid you 2.5 at let's call it a hundred. And you're going to give them, you know, a refund for the other 2250. There's no way, you know what I'm saying? So like, that, that to me, I think is kind of shitty. I think you have to, you know, s- stick to your pricing and make it work. I-, I don't know how large their collection size is. I know their Discord has an insane amount of members, so they're going to do great for a raise. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, w- what's the justification for the extra half a Solana? Uh, I believe they bumped it by half a Solana. What's the justification for a 25% increase just because the price of Solana changes? It's crazy to me. Yeah, I think the... Like I always say, the FOMO is going to overtake the FUD and any, any possible scenario there with how much hype is surrounding that project or any project yeah. that may be raising yeah. the prices right now. It's just, yeah. It, yeah, it's just, it's, not, too, it's just not fair. For me, it's not fair to the community. You know what I mean? So I, I you know, just to adjust it just because. So I don't know. That's that's my angle on it. And again, I'm not against any project. I'm, I'm whitelisted for them. I'll still try to mint one if I can, you know, based off of the network and such. Uh, yeah, if you can. Yeah, exactly, if I can. That's been the big the big question mark recently with a lot of things with uh, how, how uh, honestly congested attacked, whatever the proper term is for this line of network. But, oh, I guess there is, I guess, a little bit of room for that discussion as, as far as an update. I'm going to pull up the Anatoly tweet. I know a couple of things went out about that. 
Because essentially yeah. what was happening, let me find it so I don't completely butcher what was happening. Uh, it basically had to do with duplicate packets and the compute power required to process like all the transactions that are happening. And it's basically way more than they could have ever accounted for and way more there was in the past. But the issue is there's so many duplicate packets that the network has to has to like do some sort of a check for them. And that's what's basically got everything so congested because there's millions of packets coming in. One of the tweets he put, I can't really understand it, but at one point there was like a specific thing that was pushing out 2 million packets or something. What did he say? He said, I, I saw know that. reported... I saw that yeah. spike, right? It was like a spike yeah. on a graph that just showed you 2 million. reported 2 million duplicate packets, but that was identified and I believe they're pushing a fix for it. But the thing with the network is it has to go out to all of the validators. So yep. now they've resorted to posting the Bernie Sanders meme again to to update the validator <laughs> notes for, for the main I'm data. once again asking you to update yeah. your validators. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, so it's that's been what's very going on. Hopefully it fixes soon. Hopefully it gets a little bit better. But as we've seen in the past, every time they roll out an update, it just takes a little while because it, it does require all those validators to individually do that. Mm -hmm. So it seems like it'll be hopefully a good fix for now, but... As everyone keeps saying, and everybody knows, Solana is technically still in beta. When you look right. at it, it says mainnet beta for everything. So it's it's good for the chain overall to find these problems because there's always going to be something you have to fix. It's just, I guess about the speed and the confidence you have in fixing that stuff. So being, I believe it's even on the open source side of fixing the chain. Some they were giving some praise to a guy that actually uh, pointed this out initially. So it seemed like they worked pretty quick to identify the problem and push out a fix for it at least. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. Uh, that that was going to be a comment that I was going to make too. If you didn't, the the, the fact that Solana is beta, um, I think that's important. I, I think a lot of people don't think about that too often. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just a, a good important thing to kind of think about in general. I mean, just the the sizing of the market cap for it. You know, the growth side of things that's existed over the past. Let's call it a year and some change or 18 months. Uh, I know it's existed longer than that, but just the growth side in that, in that time frame has just been astronomical. It's been crazy. And, um, yeah, the fact that it's in beta is, is kind of wild. And, you know, I think, uh, over time it'll just become more and more bulletproof. You know, the, the mm -hmm. other, the other meme, if we're just going to throw memes on memes on memes is the, the thing that I always constantly think about is that Microsoft, uh, convention with the, with the guy chanting developers but that's that's really what we have on the solana side you know there's there's a lot of developers that have flocked over um and you know people are eager to build their they want to make you know uh, a better you know space that exists for solana they want to improve what they can and um i think in the long run it's going to be it's going to work out very well you know at least for us on the nft side um or anyone that's, you know, in the NFT markets in general, I think Solana is going to be, uh, you know, a real big part of it indefinitely. Um, you know, especially after seeing some other like news articles and things, but they're mostly subjective. And I know it's kind of going down a rabbit hole for our VC, but I think it's always <laughs> good to, to chat about. Well, it intertwines with everything too. You can't just... Sure. I, I would hope that you can't just own an NFT and not have any idea of what technology is behind it or what sort of factors could influence the value of your NFT. If that's because everybody has their own take, like I've said it a million times, all my NFTs can go to zero and nothing really changes for me. I don't have anything in NFTs that I need to live my life. It doesn't, you know, to, I didn't wake up today in a panic because the market was under a hundred dollars for Solana. I, just, right. I looked and made sure my boxes were still being staked and they were. So that was a big sigh of relief for me. But it's important that people realize that there's t levels of technology behind all the stuff that's here. Just get an understanding of what that looks like so you don't have to wonder, you know, why is the price of Solana down? Well, that's because of the market conditions and all this other stuff. Why is Solana congested? You know, if you read Twitter, you'll hear like, oh, DDoS attacks or all these uninformed takes. And you're like, oh, wow, it's getting DDoSed. And then you go tell somebody else that it's getting DDoSed. And then it's just <laughs> a big spread of misinformation. So I think it kind of goes, at least for me, it goes all hand in hand. Like, okay. We're on Solana. We have NFTs. What is an NFT? Okay, this is what it is. This, this is how the network operates. These are what validator nodes are. And I've taken a lot of time just in the past couple of months I've been in the space to try to learn as much as I can about all the different pieces that just contribute to keeping everything rolling too. And like especially, like you said too, I'm huge on where Solana will be in a year. I think 
I think it's hard to roll back all the progress that Solana's made from the development standpoint and like a community building standpoint. There's so many people invested in Solana, so many projects being built on Solana. There's so much here that it's just it's just a force that just keeps rolling forward no matter what. Because think about any other chain, if like a brand new chain were to have these type of problems, you would probably think that that chain is pretty likely to die or just kind of fall off a cliff just because of how many problems you're having early. But the fact that we can have all this stuff thrown at us and everything is still here, you can see there's market movement with other NFTs regarding like the congestion and the market conditions. But even speaking specifically to foxes, like the floor price on a fro- uh, fox has barely moved if at all. I've seen some sales today, if anything. Yeah, no, and and uh, and to your same points there, you know, I, I know you said, you know, any new chain that comes out, you know, if they have similar issues, they they most likely would just go by the wayside. I'm fairly sure that's happened with quite a few already, um, you know. So like it, that, it, it's it's already. I mean, I'm sure it's happened. You know, I'll say more than once, if not hundreds of times, um, just with how many you know new coins and chains and such like exist as well or get created where. Um, yeah, you know, they might not have the same kind of developing power. There might be something that someone, uh, you know, can can be malicious about and destroy the concept of it. So then it just goes to nothing and disappears, and then they work on something else. So totally agree yeah. with you. Yeah, I think, I think you have some good points in there for sure. With the history of crypto too, like if you look back and you Google some of the Ethereum stuff, if you guys aren't aware of all this, there's been some insane events i suppose you could call them that have happened with like ethereum hard forking back in the day or other chains literally getting hacked in some form where they're uh it was just like just in december polygon lost like eight hundred thousand matic which is like almost two million dollars worth of tokens because there was a vulnerability and then uh basically the main developers behind it didn't even say anything obviously you want to keep it quiet when there's like an exploit that's happening but there's crazy big stuff that happens on chains and it's just the fact that you know they, they patch it they move forward. There's enough support behind it that things can keep going on smoothly. But yeah, there's definitely a crazy history of ups and downs regarding crypto. Just if you look into it a little bit. Yeah, and I, and I th- and I'm not sure if you're familiar, but I believe that um, I believe the OG Ethereum is actually Ethereum Classic, and I think when they when it forked, that was that had to do something with the way I believe validators were getting paid or something along those lines, but. The new method for it actually is the current Ethereum, and the old way is the Ethereum Classic. Um, so, some people might not even, you know, kind of know some of like that that kind of history. And again, I, I might be wrong on that with some parts, but I believe that's mostly true. Um, but yeah, forks happen all the time. You know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. Uh, really, Bitcoin has had so many forks that exist. Uh, so. It's nothing new. I mean, that, that's the one thing that's you know interesting with the blockchain is you're able to fork off and you know have developers do different things and have other tokens. So if you've ever seen tokenomics that seem very similar to Bitcoin's from a supply side and from a uh, from a creation side, odds are it could be a, a Bitcoin fork, um, which I think is kind of interesting. And some people might not be familiar with that. It's probably a pretty deep conversation for our group here, but. If you're yeah. ever interested in checking it out, it's definitely worthwhile like poking around. I mean, if you have some time when the market's down and you want to look for something else to keep yourself occupied with. Um, <laughs> There's plenty of stuff to read on for that. Yeah, we have we had Norwally.io earlier or whatever the hell that was called, where I did absolute shit the whole time. Um, or you can <laughs> or you can watch the South Park uh, NFT episode recently, which I know is on your homework assignment because yeah, that was that. absolutely hilarious. I was going to look that up, but I had to run to the gym before the, the space started. Yeah. I want to clarify. I don't know if Oni, if Oni Geary is serious, but I was joking about the staking the fox thing. That thing is wrong with your foxes. They're safely staked. This network has <laughs> not affected foxes in any sort of way. That was a joke. No, no fun with foxes. <laughs> but I always make that joke because, like I said, I don't, I don't look at my foxes like, oh boy, I gotta. If the market's up, I gotta sell them out. I'm always just gonna keep these bad boys. So the. Anytime somebody brings up like the price of Solana, I'm like, oh god, thank my foxes are still there. Yeah, exactly. No, and and that's always a good thing too. You know what I mean? Like have have something that you cling on to. You know, I think getting wrapped up in charts and you know the flipping side of NFTs it, it can get exhausting. So just make sure at the end of the day, you guys, you know, you're, you're being safe with your money. I know Brink had mentioned it before. It's not money that you need to live off of. I think that's very important. It should be money. You could literally lose tomorrow, and it wouldn't change anything in your life. Um, if it if it does, if it would, 
uh, adjust your risk policy <laughs> for sure. Um, you know, it's it's not worth it because you know in times like this where the market gets slaughtered, you know, down fifty percent plus over the past you know, 90 days, I mean, less than 90 days, probably. I mean, you know, if that's what you're living off of, that's a big sizable chunk, um, you know, that gets cut out of you. So, you know, make sure you're diversified, you know, not necessarily just in crypto and other assets too, if that's part of your, you know, living plan um, and just kind of be safe in general. Disregard, kind of open. Yeah, go ahead. disregard market conditions, join Bronkdow. Exactly. Disregard market conditions, join Bronkdow. Uh, I'll kind of open it up if anyone has questions just to kind of see if people um, have anything specific. I, I have, was poking around in chat earlier. I had to move because uh, my baby was acting up a little bit. And I didn't want it to get too, too crazy up in here. Um, yeah. James Ray is that I got him up here. Sweet. What's going on, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, you know, hey, just hey. pumping out as many foxes, Lord. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah <laughs> it's all thanks that. to Brock, Brock, every five Brock minutes. Dow, right? Exactly. You know, it's just a gift that keeps on giving. So I love the story uh, behind it. And just, you know, everybody's like going wild for him. So I'm pretty like, I'm just having fun with it, you know? Yeah, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. You know, I, I know Brink and I both have, mentioned it a few times but um you know not not everyone in our community is flippers i mean for the most part i'll say they're degenerates and i know there's you know degenerate gambling things that people do that cost money but for something like this it's just time it's just messing around uh you know and people people get a good kick out of it yeah i love that you almost called me bronc didn't you i almost did i said bronc Tao, but see <laughs> i know you're brink but when <laughs> oh lord <laughs> What is there like a I like Bronx to, swear jar now? That's going to turn into the next token. Yeah, I like to envision Bronx as more like the Doodle Bob of Bronx, <laughs> except less angry. <laughs> oh, that's so great! That's so great. Oh, man. It's so damn funny. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the situation with the Bronx. Uh, but yeah, the where it came from, I think it's too so funny too because you guys love the Bronx from the auction and all this stuff. It's funny to think about like there's two scammers in the world that own Bronx. <laughs> I, in effect, like gave them value for scamming me or trying to. Yeah. Some Somehow I ended up with a one on one because we did that ridiculous thing where, you know, Dev was like, hey, <laughs> draw him as fast as you can. So we did. And it looked like, you know, Bronk got hit with a truck and then started <laughs> bidding him up. And then Dev was like, hey, if you work hard, you can stack more Bronx. So I was like, well, then by golly, I got to get on the iPad and start drawing my face off. And then I stacked like 46 Bronk. So now I'm like Bronk rich, you know, I never have to work again. Right. So, and then <laughs> I think one Bronk roughly converts to like 5 million US dollars. Oh, or something I'm like loaded. That. I'd have to check. I'd have to check. Don't, don't worry, family. I got this. You know, Bronk is here to save. So you keep posting them on Twitter. People are just going to keep asking when men. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's happened, hasn't it? So goodness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it's kind of turned into one thing after the other. Cause like, oh, let me see if I can, like last night I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, mess around and see, you know, what can come of this. And then I threw out one of the minis. And so I was like, oh, I want one. And I was like, here you go. I felt like, you know, that scene in Dumb and Dumber when they come across all that money and they're walking around and they're in their oh, like, yeah. get up and they're just ha handing hundred dollar bills to everybody. I kind of had that moment last night. So I was like walking around like Lloyd Christmas and they're like, you want a mini? I'm like, you got it. You want a mini? You got it. <laughs> Owen in chat just asked for one too. A couple yeah. minutes ago. Oh, and how funny. <laughs> he said, feeling left out. He doesn't have his uh, Bronk mini yet. Well, just go <laughs> just go in the Discord and, and tag me and I'll, I'll make it. You know? Oh, Lord. Yeah. S submit your submit them into the, the Bronk Dow Classic channel. <laughs> what yeah. called Bronk Classic. <laughs> Oh God, but at least something good came out of this week because, you know, after Bronk got hit with the, you know, ugly stick, then Solana got hit with the ugly stick. So, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Direct, directly co correlated events had happened. Bronk was created, Solana started becoming shit. <laughs> well, everyone moved over to Bronk. Well, maybe it, since we shouldn't be like ugly stick Bronk, we need like pretty Bronk and then Solana will moon again. 
Well, well, Brink has a pretty Bronk, and, and I don't Ooh. know, Brink, if you you should throw it in Bronktow. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, James, but he had gone commissioned a. Uh, I don't. Need, I'll let you explain it. You got a commission that looks kind of like a, a fake, actual, real general, but I'll let you explain it more, Brink, because you 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 did it. Yeah, it's the the funny thing about this too is. Um, there was, I think last week sometime, I was just going down the nostalgia track in Discord, like looking up some of the old messages I posted when I was like first in the Discord. And one of the things I like pointed out at one time, one of the red coat foxes, like, oh, I could just envision this being in the, like an old timey general painting where it's, you know, he's like an regal and everything. So I said that probably like two months ago. Fast forward, I ended up right after I picked up this, the new profile picture, Fox, uh, that idea just like popped back in my head. I was like, I got to get this done. So. It was actually someone that I've known for a couple of years I ended up going to uh, who turns out to be very anti-crypto. So it was very difficult to try to make that work as far as getting a commission out of him for it. But no, he turned that around in a couple of hours. And I was like, this thing is perfect. So Isn't that the one I, you have in your like den? Like I think I visited yeah, your yeah, den I and like it's in yeah, there. It's like it his, oil painting. Like it looks fantastic. Yeah, I, I minted it just so I could have it in like my wallet and show it off. And I put the artist credentials in there and stuff like that. So you could you could look him up and see his work. He just doesn't take commissions. For well, we need to get him in a brink now. And in the brink now, we got pretty brink, and pretty brink is going to bring Solana back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll accept the Bronk coin. Maybe it's just the mainstream crypto he doesn't have a fan of. But uh, yeah, I had to get that done. I love showing that thing off when people flex that they've got it. You know, oh, I had an artist commission my my profile picture. I'm like, oh, me too. And then I whip that bad boy out. It's like you're pulling out the freaking Exodia. All oh yeah, it's a Trump it. card. You're like you like slap it down on the table, and all the chips <laughs> yeah. fly everywhere. Beat <laughs> <laughs> asking too when I'm going to get that translate translated. It's like a real life. Like a canvas painting with a, an elegant gold frame. I think that would just, it would be hilarious, but the most out of place thing I can oh, you have to put do on it. my wall. You have to do it. Like if foxes go crazy, you commission it and then you get this nasty, you need like a gold frame around it. It needs to be like eight feet tall, like five feet wide, you know? And you, yeah, when just, people come you know, into your house, they're like, <laughs> in the middle of the wall, like that's the centerpiece. When we eat dinner, we look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you know where this leads though right like you do that then it goes on the wall then it ends up in a museum somewhere like 30 years later and like homage it'd to like to Solana a, yeah, it'd have to be a copy because no one's going to get the real one off my hands no you have to donate it like when you're like in your old age you donate it to the museum okay, yeah after you've own. already made like your 100 million plus you know what I mean you just donate start it start a Bronx museum and yeah. just put all of the possible derivatives of Bronx in the museum but like I, a Mona Lisa Bronx a Michelangelo Bronx I was like going to say, I think, the, chapel, I think the one good thing that's come out of this conversation, because I actually think, uh, Bronk, Bronk, Brink, I think you have a, a tool case here, and I think James was kind of on to it. But I think now that you have a few variations of, of your fox, which we'll call him Bronk, um, someone should make a tool that tracks like the past 24-hour performance of Solana, and based off of how busted up or good it's doing that's the picture of bronc that gets displayed so if, uh, <laughs> yeah, Solana 10, is down, 10 degrees of bronc right if Solana is down 20 like... you, your your bronc had gotten hit by the ugly stick on a on a <laughs> terrible day like the fear chart that you see for Bitcoin. yes exactly. exactly yes, that is yes. Solana market conditions and it's just like they're completely destroyed <laughs> it's just the bronc market conditions Bronx conditions. Okay. Yes. This, oh God. This is definitely happening. This is definitely happening. Well, I'm, anybody is welcome to completely do that because I am just lazy. The Bronco meter of five thousand. We'll find someone. We'll find someone. <laughs> we'll get it done. Yeah, I think I know who can handle that, but he might be sleeping right now. Yeah, when he wakes <laughs> up, we'll bother him. We oh my it. God! If the little arrow could be like attached to the price of Solana and it moves. Like, like a little, like it, like it ticks left or to the right, you know. Yes, I, I oh we're, yeah, I can't wait for this. This is exciting. This uh, is why we do. This is why we do the, these things. Yeah, we'll have to table the conversation, bring it into a private DM, so we can work out the details. Yeah, and just unleash it onto the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. another yeah. utility for foxes. Yeah, it, it costs a thousand foxy to unlock it, but once it's in, you're <laughs> done. You have it. No, if you have a fox staked, you can unlock it. That actually would be super hilarious if it was not a menu item, but it was just a page that you could find or like slash Bronk. Yeah. Or something on the website. 
Yeah, like you can't, yeah, you can't accidentally yeah. go to it. Slash you, slash Exactly. Oh, I love man. this. We're oh, gonna shit, I didn't plan You know how, like, Soul Sniper and all that have tools and things? Mm-hmm. You, like, do it, like, ridiculous, though. You know, the other ones look so official. Like, I'm watching the market. We need to, like, you know, cartoonify it a little bit and have fun with it. But oh, yet still have, like, utility where people are like, actually, <laughs> it's kind of good. You know, yeah. I, I use it. Yeah, exactly. No, I love this. This is this is gonna work. I appreciate it. <laughs> the magic just happens, guys. It just the, the magic just happens. That's it. So, the magic just happens. That's it. Well, hey, thanks for having me up here. I, I know I'm <laughs> taking all the time up here, but thanks no, for having you, you guys and putting up with me. And you've created hands up. So you're yeah, you've good. created a great tool, and I can't wait till we have it in place. Uh, love the work you're doing, and definitely, I, I know the other people are appreciative of it as well in the Bronx Dow. So keep up the good work, and we'll we'll keep chatting more about other things on the sidelines as well. I know, I know you've been mentioning some things, and you dropped some alpha in uh, Bronx Dow, but yeah, we'll we'll keep things going. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me, guys. I really, I really am having a ton of fun. So of have course, a good rest of love to hear it, man. All right, peace. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you. Anyone, I was going to say, anyone else have questions um, in general? I know we're getting up on the hour mark here. Not that I usually plan to end at the hour. I know that's uh, definitely getting hungry-ish. I should have probably started the space an hour earlier. Probably would have been better. But that's on me based off of what fit in my schedule. I guess the, the only thing I'd throw out there, I know Brink, uh, Brink Bronk has been also watching a uh, new season of Ozarks out. So I'm not sure how many people are. A fan of Ozark. I know it has absolutely nothing to do with crypto, foxes, and whatever, but something else to take your mind off of crypto, you know, in a slump market. Get outside if you can, do a thing, uh, drink water, watch Ozark. Uh, just don't panic. <laughs> and uh, Owen's got his hand up. Let's bring yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bring Owen on up here. I had a moment of mental panic. I realized I never. Uh, registered the custom URL for Bronk, but I just got it. Nice, nice. <sighs> Out of the woods on that one. I helped uh, help Pauls .eth get his uh, the other week. Um, he he ha- he doesn't have enough boxes to have a thousand foxes, so oh, I hooked him up because uh, I like him. He's a he's a good guy. There you go. What's going What's on, Alan? Hey, yo, how's everyone doing? Doing good. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say, that, you know, I've been out of kind of action working on um, my projects and all that and just go back to kind of um the foxy fox discord today and just yeah just love it like it's <laughs> i really missed the whole vibes and everything that's going around there um and just being in the space as well you know it reminds me why this is just you know one of my my favorite projects but yeah basically why i just came up here i bought a one of those raffle tickets and like i, I was just wondering how kind of that's gonna um, be executed i think it's tomorrow when kind of the, the draws and everything happen um, like I just kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's written somewhere, but I just thought you know, jumping up here. And- yeah, no, that's a good question. Um, I actually have to double check with uh, Foxy Dev just to kind of see how he wants to do the, uh, the reveal side for them. Um, I'm not sure if he is going to do it via discord as a bot or if he's going to do like a live stream type thing or like a recorded um, that way we can kind of throw it up on uh, on our website or I'm sorry on our Discord to kind of keep track of like previous results and such. Um, but in either case, yeah, we'll we'll definitely have a way that uh, we show you, you know, the, the, the picking process. I mean, our objective really is to be transparent. You know, it is 100% legit, like completely random raffle. Um, everyone that buys a ticket, you know, has just as even of a chance as anyone else. So. Um, so yeah, I'll have to check with Foxy Dev to see the exact way he wants to display it, um, because this is our first one. So odds are, you know, we'll definitely be interested in feedback if people want to kind of see us do it a different way, um, or something along those lines, or have kind of spice it up a little bit, make it a little more fun. Um, we're definitely open to suggestions once uh, once we kind of roll out tomorrow's uh, drawing. So um, keep That's your cool. eyes out and uh, you know provide feedback when uh, when we do it. Yeah, cool. Um, is the the like the winning uh, raffle kind of tickets going to uh, morph into like um, a different form of ticket saying you've won? Like if you've missed kind of the um, the actual draw and everything, um, it will be like I don't know if that is planned, but you know, Foxy Dev is capable of anything. <laughs> he is capable of anything. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I'll I'll see if he's if he's interested in 
in doing that. Um, I think we can probably mock something up and, and have it work that way. That way, people that, that did win, you know, will actually have a different uh, NFT version of the the raffle ticket than everyone else that had bought into it. So, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool, man. Cool. So, no, I, I appreciate you coming up. And uh, I see you got your Shadow Super Coder uh, PFP on there. Definitely. Definitely enjoy the uh, the SSC side of things, and I'm kind of curious to see how they kind of push through everything and develop as they're going through with their uh, project. I and mean, they're doing some really cool stuff. Like I know you want to go eat and all that, but have you seen like the the new the IDEO launch pad that they just dropped? I have but, not. No, I've been I've been a little out of it on the SSC side. I just have mine staked, just chilling for right now. But um, but I should go check that out. And they basically just turn their idea into like oh their their platform that they use for their idea into like a, a public thing that other people can come on and use and it's got a decent UI um, but just like fifteen thousand um, USD in uh, shadow to use it so it's quite expensive but you know it's it's really well done. yeah just you know but yeah, I actually just moved <laughs> changed my my uh, profile photo and just put back to my fox uh, after you know catching up and everything because yeah, real vibes. <laughs> No, I appreciate that. That's cool. I, I didn't know that the, that they actually switched over to do a launch pad. Um, and I'm guessing you said 15,000. So is it, is it a thousand shadow for you to, to run on the pad? It's, it's 15,000. Oh, 15,000. So that would be like, I think shadows. I don't even, I don't even want to know what shadows at, but it's low. So yeah, I think it was like, it was like 120, 130, I think earlier. So that's uh, still, that's still pretty decent price, but um, yeah. Yeah, if that's all it costs, I mean, that's really not too, too bad because I know some platforms take percentages for it. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool what they're doing. But yeah, interesting. But, you know, it's just, it's, it's not a project like Fox's. You know, they, they don't really have, they don't do any wide list giveaways. They don't really have much of a cool vibe going on. They're like, it's great for the utility and everything. But yeah, sometimes you need to just have a good time. And yeah, <laughs> that's what we're all about. Yeah, 100%. I appreciate that. Um, I don't think anybody else has any questions. I'm going to pop into Discord real quick just to see if there's anything in there. I know some people were asking too. Yeah, I'm I'm the general in uh, Discord. Uh, so for anyone that's not familiar with me, DraxTS is how I go outside of... If you click on the general too, you'll see my name is DraxTS. I don't remember exactly what the origin story was, but basically uh, since I got... I actually minted the, the fox that I have as the general. Um, got lucky enough to get that. Kind of just take it on its own persona. So the general in Discord, Drax TS, everywhere else. Uh, bother me as much as you want. And let's see. Yeah, right, sorry, he just he just dropped the the, the 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 mini version of my fox, and this is so fly. So <laughs> funny, give it a shot. Is that the one with the oh. saf- the safari hat? Yeah, with the nice. With the yeah, with the mustache. Fox work fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool though amazing but uh but yeah i'll, I'll kind of i'll cut the space there i think i think i kind of answered everything and we'll get this posted up on youtube uh as final comments for me you know I'm, I'm always an advocate on the security side of things uh it's very quick and easy to make a burner wallet so anyone that's minting anything coming up soon if you want to go through the pain of solana's network to mint right now in the state that it is uh, always make sure to make a burner Send over money. I know it might take a while for you to send over your transactions. We had a lot of fun with that on our poker night last night. Um, hey, breaking news on that. There's tw- apparently 26% of the validators have the fix pushed. Nice. And it looks like the TPS might be over 1,000 for Sweet. For now, hopefully it'll stay that way and it'll only get better as more validators update. That sounds good. That sounds good. I forgot to mention too that we had our poker night last night. We, so we kind of did a, a twofold thing, which was a nightmare on my part. But we had both a Savannah tournament as well as a, a game that we play within our space um, for a thousand Foxy buy-in. And uh, our total prize pool was thirty thousand Foxy between the people that entered and their re-entries. Um, and so we had four different winners from that, which ranged anywhere from twelve thousand to three thousand Foxy each. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, you know, an hour 40-ish, I think, for the, the whole thing. I tried to set the blinds up so it doesn't take up too much time. Um, but with the rebuys and all, I was trying to keep it under two hours, and I think that was pretty spot on. Um, but for anyone that's interested, with, there is a Poker Fox role. You can go into the uh, choose your team or join a team 
Um, there's a few roles in there. There's a vibing fox, a gaming fox, um, a lore fox, a degen fox, and then we added in the poker fox. So anyone that's interested in getting updates, um, adding in the poker fox role will give you a couple more voice channels. Uh, I have to delete one of those. So you get one more voice channel for poker specifically, um, and then a, a chat channel as well for poker that we post in there for um, for our games. The program we use is Poker Now, and uh, you can just do it on mobile or uh, PC, whatever is easiest for you. Um, it's very user friendly, very easy to set up on my end. It makes life easy. The the thing I think we're going to start implementing is using the tip bot. So we have a star tip bot that we have to, uh, I think we should probably create its own channel for, um, for information about how to use it, but you can send uh, Foxy by using that tip bot. So, you know, if someone does something you like, uh, you know, if they help you out, you can send them Foxy. I think you can send them Solana as well. There's a few coins you can use. Um, but I think that's just going to help my, be a little bit easier for me than kind of validating all the transactions and stuff that people would send, especially with the network being such shit recently. So, um, so we'll probably try to go to that model. So anyone that's interested, just uh, be sure to keep an eye out for that. I'm going to try and make our games not as complicated as they were yesterday. One, one game at a time. No double stacking things. Um, so yeah, so anyone that wants to hang out and vibe with us while we're you know playing a little bit of poker... Friday nights seem to be a pretty decent time. Um, I actually mentioned that I think next time we'll try to do it earlier, maybe on a Saturday instead, just to kind of uh, be a little conscious, time conscious for our folks from the uh, European area. So um, hopefully it'll be more accommodating for both US and Europe then. And uh, we'll just try and get some things popping off. But yeah, be safe out there for minting. Um, you know, just... Like Brink had said, you know, the network seems to be getting better. Just be a little patient with it. It's not worth, you know, risking your funds for a potential mint that may or may not moon, especially with a lot of mints being like whitelists and all this other complicated stuff. So just be safe uh, and err on the side of caution. If something seems like a scam, it most likely is uh, up to and including anyone trying to offer you DevNet, Solana. Uh, it's 100% a scam. Talk to Brink, figure out a way of creating a famous fax for your nation and send that over to them instead <laughs> just to mess hey, with them. <laughs> one thing to talk about too for this, um, there's probably going to be a wave of people scamming to say, oh, the network's fixed, the mint's back on because I know a lot of uh, mm. projects have postponed their mints. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. careful of those popping up. If Very good something, point. Yeah, if something was postponed, I would doubt that they just decided to put it back on. And as you guys know, DMs are not to be trusted for pretty much anything. So yeah, pe people will never people will never DM you a mint link. Like that's just not a thing, unless it's someone you know that has early access to something. Trust absolutely no DMs. Um, you know, if someone's trying to get in contact with you in general, that's perfectly fine. But never give out a seed phrase. Never give out your. You know, just just. Always err on the side of caution. If it seems too true to be real, odds are it probably is. So just just be careful out there. And if something always seems fishy or whatever, drop it in our Fox chat and ping me, ping whoever. Just ping to be like, me. hey, yeah, ping, ping Brink. Until you know. I respond. If you think you may be getting scammed, DM yeah. me until I respond. Yeah. If it doesn't seem right, you know, bother us. Like that's what we're here for. We're here for our community. So even if you're not a famous Fox holder, it doesn't matter. Like, just let us know because at the end of the day, you know, I know that we've personally probably saved, I mean, a dozen plus people from getting scammed, if not more, um, probably a lot more than that, but at least the ones that I could kind of keep track of has been at least a dozen plus. And at the end of the day, that makes me feel better because, you know, who knows how much they would have gotten scammed, how long that would have gone on, if that would have transpired into something else. Um, you know, that's just the nice part about our community. It's very easy. It's very quick to get in touch with us. We're not, uh, you know, I, I, you can talk to James. James DM'd us today. We've chatted for a while. Um, you know, we're very approachable. So always feel free to reach out to us within our community side and, um, you know, stay safe. I'll, anything you wanted to add, Brink? Uh, one more requested hand oh. here if you want to bring him up. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. I got him. Yonko, right. how's it going, man?
Hello, Yanko. How's it going? Yo. It's like Twitter TPS is down too. I don't really have any questions, fam. I just wanted to come in here and uh, appreciate y'all because uh, I just learned a lot in the 40 minutes, 50 minutes I was in this. And also, I just joined in to officially say what's up to y'all. Yeah, appreciate you. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad you, you, you're you learning. You've learned from us, you know, a little bit of something. I know it might not be that much. Um, you know, one of my, one of my near, dear, near future plans is to kind of put some more content up, uh, you know, via like YouTube for, you know, just different general things. I'll probably do it on my own YouTube channel, but I know there's a lot of information out there that people, um, you know, should have if they're getting into the Solana space or NFT space or crypto space in general, it could be quite helpful. So, I'm glad you got something out of it, and hopefully you'll uh, join us for future uh, DAO, uh, DAO oh, yeah. PCs that we have on Twitter. I'm trying to join today, but uh, Coinbase just ripped me apart. You know, I have to wait. Like, I'm, I didn't know if, like, uh, doing it straight through the bank, I didn't know I'd have to wait seven to ten days. So now I came and buy my famous Fox today. I got four point five sold. Yeah, they, held they do. Head. Yeah, they do that for like anti money money laundering rules. So, um, yeah. but. Hopefully, hopefully in that seven to ten days, boxes. Uh, I'll say hopefully they don't pop off for you to be able to get the box you want. But at the same time, I mean, hopefully they go to a hundred. So no, I mean I have a TFF and I have a den already. I just I just want to make it official. Sick. I mean, with the famous fox, I was hella crapped out, man. I, I don't. I mean. We lost you. Yeah, I think you got rugs. In 10 days, I'm murdered. That's a lot. Nah, it's all good. Well, I, you know, I appreci uh, appreciate the support from the TFF and the Den side, but uh, looking forward to seeing you in the DAO as well. No, oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I haven't talked to you as much through Discord, but I mean, I, uh, Brink is a really good person to me. I mean, he's helped me a lot. That's another reason why I just wanted to speak. I just want to show him some love. I appreciate that, man. I'm glad I was able to help you somehow. But that's what we're all here for, right? Rising tide. No, nah, yeah, shit, I've asked so you multiple questions and shit. But yeah, man, I'm I'm excited to be here. Just wanted to say that. Uh, thanks for thanks for having me, and uh, I'll get out of your way. Of course, thanks for being here, and uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you more in the in the DAO in our chats. And I apologize if I if I haven't been around to see. You. I know there's a a lot of things going on, but I don't want to make an excuse for anything, but certainly, certainly do care and, and, uh, want to communicate with our community a hundred percent. No, yeah, you're good. I just didn't know who you were. I was one of the people that I was asking who's, who's Drax. Oh like, yeah. Who's Drax? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's all good. That's all good. I know it can be confusing for some people, but, uh, I know my PFP right now doesn't help either. I, I got to show some love for, for James, <laughs> but, no, you're but good. uh, no. yeah. Now that I know you're the general, I mean we've chat we've chatted here and there, but I'm looking forward to building this relationship because honestly, I'm I'm happy to be in the famous foxes. Like the jokes and like the advice people have told me in there has been like unique as hell. You know, I haven't seen this type of community elsewhere. You know, I'm not just hyping y'all up because we here. I just I truly I'm I've been only in the NFT world for 22 days. Got I got wallet drained on New Year's night, so mm. like. I've learned a lot joining the famous foxes. A lot of people are very helpful here. I mean, the jokes, like I said, I've 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 laughed a lot just being in the Discord. <laughs> Good. No, it, so, sorry to hear about the wallet drain. I mean, unfortunately, that does happen. Um, but hopefully, you know, you'll you'll get that and and m multiple more. You know, within our space. Uh, you know, being part of our community. So no, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it's already paid off. I mean, I don't want to get into it. But yeah, definitely. Already Good. That's about it. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad that I lost like two point four k in NFTs and soul, but that already I've already made that up. I, I feel really good about the space that I'm in, and honestly, I just can't wait to get in deeper. Yeah, that sounds we rebound great. from that. Yeah, it's it's always an expensive <laughs> lesson. That's one of my personal goals is like to try to alleviate that because there's so many new people that are coming into NFTs for the first time. It's like it's one of those things it's really hard to learn you have to get hands on for most stuff but if i can give someone like one good piece of advice or if anybody in the fox family or anybody in solana can reach out or answer one question that helps somebody not get scammed or something like that it's, that's all we can really do when it all comes down to it no yeah exactly the whole thing was i didn't have like a og to you know like ease me into there i didn't know about these scammers none of that but like i i've come along with uh, in these 22 yeah days. no miyagi <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you learn quick. Basically, all the stuff that they would try to do in RuneScape, they're doing here, but this time it's a little bit more impactful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're not losing GP. You're losing <laughs> USD or <laughs> Solana. So. <laughs> now my Abby Whip, get back here. Exactly. No, I appreciate you, Sal. I appreciate you coming up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and end off the space so I can go get some dinner. But uh, it was great chatting with you all and uh, looking forward to vibing with you guys sometime soon. Oh, yeah. It's all good, man. Thank you for having me. All right, everybody. All right. It's all love, we'll everybody. Easy, everyone.